As early as 1939, the desirability had been foreseen of a radar navigational aid in locating targets when we should pass to an air offensive over the continent. Experiments were conducted on a path difference system G, a possibility originally suggested in 1938 as a solution to the blind approach problem. And the first eastern chain, Stenigat, Daventry and Ventnor, was ready to operate in July 1941 in conjunction with 24 handmade airborne sets fitted to 115 Squadron. By February 1942, several hundred aircraft had been equipped and a month was spent in practicing on the back radiation of the chain over image positions of German targets. The first G raid was on Essen, carried out by over 200 aircraft on March the 8th, 1942. The success of the raid led to the equipment with G Mark I of all aircraft under Bomber Command. By the spring of 1943, enemy jamming had begun to interfere with its use over Germany and Holland. G Mark II, with frequency flexibility, was however now in service, and on special occasions, such as the Myrna Dam raid, the chain stations came up on an additional frequency as the bombers were approaching their target. The introduction of G made possible new standards of accuracy in navigation. An important development of technique which depended on G was the concentration in time and space of our attacking bombers which enabled the enemy's defence to be saturated. Although the accuracy of G fixes in general far exceeded Bomber Command specifications which allowed for a 15 mile error, it fell short of the requirements of a device suited for blind bombing. By modifying the existing G equipment, GH was produced. GH, used for mine laying operations, came into full operational use on D-Day. The ships sweeping channels through the minefields were guided by G, and 2,000 vessels were fitted with G to ensure the accurate navigation of these channels. 